Animal Endangerment and Its Causes Living things have been disappearing since the beginning of life on our planet. In fact, most species that have ever lived on Earth are now extinct or no longer living. Extinction can occur naturally as a normal process, or it can be the result of a major event. For example, scientists believe an asteroid struck Mexico about 65 million years ago. Almost 50% of plant species and 75% of animal species, including the dinosaurs, became extinct. Species are continually disappearing. This is the result of diseases, competition from other species, or natural change in their climate. Scientists have identified five extinction episodes like this before humans existed. When the humans became the most powerful species, the extinction rate of other species began to increase dramatically. Species are disappearing faster than they can be created. Therefore, the planet has entered a sixth wave of mass extinction. Scientists believe this wave is caused by human activity. If it is impossible to measure the number of species going extinct because there are millions that have not even been discovered yet. It is thought that amphibians and corals are the animal groups at highest risk of extinction. About 40% of each group is threatened. About 25% of animals and 13% of birds are at risk. People are endangering species in three ways. Habitat destruction, commercial use of animals and plants, and the introduction of new species into habitats. Human activity has also sped up climate change. If climate change continues at its current level, 25% of all species could be at risk by 2050. <laughs> habitat destruction. The destruction of habitats is the main reason species are becoming extinct. Houses, buildings, farms, and roads sit on what used to be forests, deserts, and wetlands. The pollution from people and our activities also threatens habitats. For example, sewage and chemicals can change rivers and streams that animals depend on. For instance, 46,000 to 58,000 square miles of forest each year are destroyed worldwide. That is the equivalent of 36 football fields each minute. Tropical rainforests, home to 50% of all animal and plant species, once occupied six million square miles worldwide. Now, only 2.4 million square miles remain. When species habitats become smaller, more species are crowded together. This can cause more competition for fewer resources and space. So access to food, water, and mates may become limited. Commercial exploitation. Throughout history, animals have been hunted by humans for their meat and to be used to create clothing, medicines, art, and other things. Overhunting has threatened many species, including whales, the black rhinoceros, and the bluefin tuna. Other species are threatened because they are collected or captured as pets or for trading. International treaties outlaw the capture and trade of certain species, but these laws are difficult to carry out. Many endangered species live in very remote places. These places are difficult for law enforcement officials to monitor. Introduced species. Native species have lived in a certain place for a long period of time. They have adapted to the environment, climate, and other species also living there. Introduced species have been brought into an area by humans. This can either be by accident or on purpose. In some cases, these introduced species may not cause harm and may adapt in time. But most often, introduced species throw off ecological balances. They compete with native species for food and shelter. Often, introduced species prey on the native species and may bring new diseases. When introduced species cause harm, they are called invasive species. More than 40% of threatened or endangered species are at risk because of invasive species. Climate change. 
People burn fossil fuels such as coal to make electricity. This is one way to heat our homes and provide light. We burn oil in the form of gasoline to power our cars. Burning fossil fuels releases carbon dioxide into the air, which traps Earth's heat. The levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere have increased since the 1800s. This is when many countries began using machinery. Earth's temperature is still continuing to increase, which is called global warming. Climate change is a related term. It refers to all major long lasting changes in climate. This includes global warming, but also severe heat waves and changes in rainfall that lead to floods or droughts. Climate change threatens different species in many ways. Melting sea ice causes sea levels to rise, which could take over areas where animal and plant species live. Warmer temperatures on the land can force animals to move or wake animals too early from hibernation. Often, the effects of climate change can cause a chain reaction. One example is when rising temperatures reduce the algae population in oceans. This harms sea animals that eat algae which then harms whales that eat these sea animals. Some scientists believe climate change has already contributed to the extinction of one species, the golden toad, a small bright orange amphibian from Central America.